Hello guys and welcome, it's that SLB22. This is another episode of In The Mind. In this episode, I teach you guys everything you need to know on how to be a Rainmaker carrier. I go through a bunch of tips and tricks that will help you get those sweet knockouts in Rainmaker. With all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to like the video on the way out. Thank you very much guys and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so we got the same composition as last time. We have Dapples, Sasha Machine, Elita, of course myself, and Rapid Pro. They have two, three fast weapons, and they heavy, so they have a, to be honest, they have a really, really well-rounded comp. Oh, that would have been great if I got the first shot on that guy. I could go for the heavy there, but I don't think I'm going to. Oh, barely missed that spider shot, but he's dead anyway, so it doesn't matter. There we go, heavy's on the right. There's no way they ch re challenge that. The heavy's going all the way to the right, dude. Alright, well... Our teammate has just gone for, like, our teammate's just gone for the, pl the the checkpoint, which is great. I'm in a really weird spot right now. I'm just going to try and hope that my teammate comes to help me here. But that's fine. Put the mine here. Actually, no, I'm going to put that there. That guy's going all the way right. I know that the person's going to be all the way right, but I'm also going to have to put my attention here just because... These guys are right in front of me, and they're not going to be really expecting me here, so. Um, go for this. There we go. Nice. I do want to try and move position here. It's, yeah, there is a... That guy's still behind us. Okay, now we got him now. Cool. Right. There we go. Nice. It's one in front. Heavy. I couldn't really see that one, but... I did get the two kills there, so my, my team is going all the way to the left. Be, I should be safe to just jump right back again, but it doesn't even matter. Uh, I think one thing that we need to... We can take from that game is, especially when that... That one guy flanked us, or was trying to flank us. I didn't fixate my attention completely on that guy. I think is what happened there is that they flanked and they were basically in an unreachable spot. But it'll take a long time for them to come back to me if uh, if they were to challenge me. So while they're doing that, I put my attention on something else. And the reason for that is because I'm I can put my attention my attention on something else that is happening right now. You know, if that makes any sense, because that person can flank onto right, and they they're probably not going to do anything, but. The people with the Raymaker that are right in front of me, at least I can stop that, you know? That's why I basically put my attention onto something that's more relevant, you know? Well, that's basically what I'm trying to explain why I did that. And that's something that you could at least learn. I'm not gonna lie, it comes with like every single weapon in the game, not just Elia, but I think you probably have to do it a little bit more with Elia because you have to think about uh, what's happening in the now instead of uh, what could happen later. Because, you know, what ha did happen later with that is that that person came behind us like, 20 seconds later and if I had fixated all my attention on that guy while they were there I would have been dead while the Raymaker just like comes and kills us so yeah that's basically what that was okay let's see what our composition is going to look like in this one Elita okay well rounded all right we're Elita Roller Slushy Machine Splash they have two backline one support one, one Slayer all right um I'm in the pre- I, I'm, I'm probably the most favorable backline then. There we go. Alright. I'm gonna paint this up. Perfect. So what I did there... I mean, personally, they're not gonna do it. But I basically painted through the middle. Uh, like a line of ink. So if they did, like, basically everybody on their team, if they had the idea of pushing, they would have to either jump or they, they'll basically walk through a line of ink and they'll just take damage for free. Um, put that wave breaker right there, just hits the person inside the bubble. There we go. It's like something that I call exit painting, except it wasn't really the exit. It was like, it's basically giving them, I don't even know what to call it, but it's like, it's like painting a line to damage them. Uh, wherever they're walking through. Yeah, I'm not too sure. I, I don't know if it even has a term, but it's something that I do a lot with uh, specifically longer range weapons. Uh, I do have the Raymaker here. They have two down. We Okay, they're actually right there. I think I can just run this in. There we go. Cool. 
Easy. I mean, it's really easy to do with a weapon like the Elia because it shoots such long lines. Like, sometimes if you're not, you feel like you aren't able to actually get a kill, sometimes you can just, like, shoot a line in front or behind someone. So, like, you're painting up a position of where they can't escape or where if they decide to, like, if someone decides to escape or retreat, then you're painting their exit. So if, if they do, then they, they slow down to it. Basically, it is exit painting, but it was just done in a, it was a, it was done in the reverse way. Exit painting is when, um, basically paint somebody's exit so that if they decide to run away and retreat, they get stunned by the ink that they walk through first. I guess it's entrance painting as a, Blur just said because it's like I painted the entrance for the other team to come back in so if that makes any sense Very easy to do with an Elia because like it makes these super long lines So this could be this could be an Elia right here and basically I'm the Raymaker and I'm shooting here and all that jazz I'm holding a Raymaker and then I walk back and then I take damage because this guy decided to do this and I basically slow down for it and it makes it really awkward for me to do anything so if there's anybody on my, uh, the enemy team that's also around here, as I've just taken damage, I will die, you know? We have... A solid comp. Two sloshes. A tetris. So I'm gonna play... I'm gonna play... I think I play on a right now, dude. I'm not sure... I'm not too sure on this one, dude. Yeah, actually, no, no. I'm gonna play on a right. I could help with the pop. I probably could have helped with the pop, but it's fine. Cause I didn't- I don't think I would have been in any really good position to really like help. So we're gonna try and put an, paint an exit there. There we go, nice. Last one's the... It would be better if I picked a Raymaker up, but it's fine. I hit him. <laughs> I barely hit him. It's a hit. It is a hit. Alright, I'm just gonna back up because there is an Exploder. It would have been great if I got the hit, like the full kill on him uh, while I was in the sky that, that, but, you know, it did not show itself, unfortunately. Alright. I don't need to push forwards. The only times I'm going to be able to push forward is if I'm the one that's holding the Raymaker. I shot a little low there, unfortunately. Put the Wave Breaker right there. I probably need to jump out. There we go. So I jumped out because I was not in any favorable position to try and, like, set up for another shot, so... There was no point for me to even be there anymore. Come on, show yourself. Oh, I barely missed. Okay. Nice, thank you very much, friend. Alright. Cool. Let's see what we can do. I'm gonna try and hold this left here now. They're pretty backline. They have an explode, a heavy splatling, and a... And a uh, tri slusher. So I think I will pick up the Raymaker again. Or well, for the first time. One possibly is going to be hiding up there. Nice. Okay, I could probably walk a little more ahead. The explode is like in a, a very... Just not relevant spot, so... And the heavy was basically top left, so that's all I had to really like have my eyes on. Because the rest of them would come out of spawn. Not bad. Decent game again. Alright, let's see. They got Elia. We have two Tetris of Slushy Machine. Alright, this is gonna be really interesting comp. Our Tetris are basically gonna be the things that are gonna slay for us. I'd be surprised to not see that Elia in that spot, but it doesn't seem like he's there, so... We gotta explode there instead. Okay, so Elia shouldn't be there. Cool. Alright. So the explode is right there. I think that's the same explode from last game. Alright. I'm picking this up because I know everybody's on the right side and they're not, like... There's no real point of me just, like, waiting for that, so... It seems like they did transition back to the left. Well, at least two of them did, so now I'm gonna move right. But it does seem like that the rim... They... My teammates did kill them on the left, so now I move back left. So, here we go. Just a really cool thing, if you are a Raymaker user, is really watch... Really, really do watch how the enemy team is moving, because... A lot of the times, it's really easy just to, like, duke them out. You go first. I'll let him go first. Cool. It's really easy to duke them out. Oh, got him off. It's really easy to duke them out if you're moving back and forth and you're really keeping note of where everybody on the map is. I saw no one- everyone was on the right, and that was cool. And then I saw two of them rotate to the left. So I went back, 
and it moved back those guys back to the, the right. And then while those guys were going back to the right, my teammates actually slayed them out. And then there was, I noticed the last two were back on the right because everyone moved back to the right. So I moved back to the left. And then it was an easy easy way to just to get the checkpoint back in. Yeah, it really does mess up with the whole control thing with um with teams. And then after that, it was just me checking where everyone was it was at. I had let my teammate go in front of me first to basically be a distraction. So they had have two targets to focus on in that situation. And then I just ran it and then squid rolled onto the platform. That's literally the whole game in words. <laughs> if it wasn't the opposing team, how would you counter that tactic? You have to, like, you have to space out a little bit. Like, if you notice that both teams, like, if the Raymaker's moving back and forth like that, uh, you have to, like, be aware that, okay, we need to play neutrally. Like, we need to make sure that we have, we are covering both sides uh, well enough. Like, if you see them moving back and forth, you have to trust in your teammates. Unfortunately, in solo, um, that they don't, uh, that they, that they hold strong in some position. Cool. All right, it's just a charger there. I can pick up Raymaker again. Never mind. I definitely did see that heavy Hydra spelling drop like that. Unfortunately, I didn't get the shot, but okay, nice. He's a lot are here. There we go. Did something close range. That guy's like now out of this. Ooh, he's probably gonna go all around. Yeah. I'm gonna try and. S s he's sitting right there. Okay, no, nah, all right. All right, I'm gonna chill here. I'm gonna chill right here and hopefully get. Never mind. The slushy machine's actually still alive. Cool. Cool. All right, cool. We're good. I had to to hope and parry all those shots because <laughs> I couldn't jump out. If I jumped out, I would have died by him anyway. So I had to be evasive in that one. It seems like the slushy machine came out of spawn onto their street again. So we're just basically chilling for uh, for a little bit. Um. Can maybe go for a shot here. Oh, I barely missed it. Alright. So we just have to remain hold control here. I'm gonna throw the wave breaker there. Mm, got one with the wave breaker. I barely missed this dude. I barely missed the Hydra again, but I feel like I can just run and grab. Oh, the Raymaker's back in middle. My bad. Uh, okay, I did not take mo notice of that. The Raymaker's back there, actually. Unfortunate. Hydra's on the top there. Um, one guy going below, and they have thrown Booyah Bomb. Alright. One's going top left. Alright, I'm gonna go back on the, I'm gonna go back on the, this platform here. Because I don't have any, like, really good, uh, angles. There we go. This, the last two guys are on left. Alright. Uh, this is gonna be super risky. But I'm gonna sit right here. Okay, the charger's watching me now. I gotta back up. Had to back up because I saw that 52 started to make a move for me, so I didn't want to try and get taken out from him. It's like, oh no, dude, the Hydra pushed me in. Okay, so I'm going to position myself where my jump marker is right here. I will start at that position because I I would think that they will start pushing up pretty deeply here. But it doesn't seem like that. My people are fighting them, so that's all good. That's good. All right, we killed just the Hydra now. Okay, cool. So I can position myself here, maybe get the Charger? Nope. He saw me too early. That's that's the that was the problem with uh, me trying to go for that shot because he saw me way too early. So 52 gal is here. I'm not in any good spot. I'm not in a good spot right now. So okay, no, you know what? I will I will pick it up. My people are already pushed in, so this it gives us more reasons to actually pick it up. That was uh, my my misunderstanding there of where um, everyone was at. Teammates are still killing them. Cool. I'm gonna move back. I'm gonna shoot the Raymaker there. Check the map. Okay, it seems like they got him in the spawn. It, it's it's not safe, dude. It's not safe for me to go in. Put that right there. Cool. Nice. Last one's charger. Nice. Perfect. Cool. Yeah, really keeping... I on uh where everyone was at on that one dude that was good
I think uh, what we can kind of talk about this episode is just like thinking about what you want to do with like the Rainmaker. <laughs> you have to really keep your awareness up and like figure out where people are before you actually start moving. I didn't pick up the Rainmaker and then start moving right into them when all my teammates were just like around because one of them died and I could have made that mistake and just like went in. But instead, like even with like 30 seconds, I decided to back up and like really make sure where they still were before I started moving up uh, even more. So yeah, that was uh, that was solid still. Very, very solid. Okay. Cool. So, I need to... Oh, belly. There's a guy right there, no? Am I going crazy? No, he's up. Alright. He parried it, but the Elia doesn't care about the F squid roll parry. Because it, it kills right through it. Because it does a lot of damage. Good try on his part, though. I am good. I'm, I'm glad I didn't move too ahead. I was, I was still watching it, just in case. Because I had a feeling there was still one person still around. I probably shouldn't have put that wave breaker down there, but it's fine, honestly. Okay. That guy was still there. He probably still thought I was below, so that's... Another reason for why you do you do the whole moving thing. Alright, I'm gonna pick the Raymaker up. Should be able to just place it right here. My Zipcaster friend should be able to take these out. Goodbye. Maybe get one more here. Okay, then they're gonna they might pop it here. I'm gonna try and help. Toss my Raymaker there. My teammate should be able to get that one. Nice. Alright. Okay. He's on top. We gotta get that. We gotta clear that guy out. I have an idea. I'm gonna try and position myself up here. Nice. Oh, wait, no, he's up there. He's up there. My mistake. <laughs> I didn't realize my team. The, the last guy was actually up there, dude. Ah. Uh, yeah, my mistake there. I didn't even realize he was still up there. I thought he was coming up spawn. The good thing is, is that we got some decent control. We actually get the lead still, so that's good. It was good enough so that we can actually still get the lead. Back up. Alright, I'll back up to this position. They actually popped it towards the middle again, so... And, uh... Actually, no. I should probably pop this. I think... Move my, uh, control. Well, not my control, but my, uh... Thing a little far enough. Find one guy here. Juke him. There we go. Perfect. Last one's the roller. He's on the right. Roller's there. Roller's dead. Okay. Whoop. Nah, dang. I was gonna try and roll that. I didn't have the speed to roll, unfortunately. I mean, the good thing is, is that we have the lead. And it's like 1 minute 33, so... That team's probably gonna try and force a whole lot more things. But we just have to, like... You know, play it smart and just defend to the point of where we know we can save the Raymaker. There we go. I want to, like, really confirm that I can hit that guy. Because, to be honest, Mahi is not the, like... Unless it's, like, on zones, it's not... Did I just say Mahi? Mako Mahi is, like, not the uh, the easiest map to snipe with Elite or at least. I don't think so, personally. So, like... If you miss a shot, then it's it can be really dire sometimes. I uh, barely missed that one. Ooh, nice. Okay, I gotta reposition. I just shot there, so there's no point in me still sniping there, so I'm gonna position myself here instead. He was just out of my range. But I don't think they saw that, so... Actually, no, I broke up. Put a mine there. I'm gonna put a mine there. It's 30 seconds as well. I'm also gonna put my Waybreaker here. And then I'm gonna try and find a place to, like, position myself. Position myself right here. Everybody's dead. Ooh. Okay, now they're not gonna push that, so I gotta move back. Should've known that I'm here. Oh, I barely miss! He's right there, dude. Hit him! Oh my god, I'm missing way shots. <laughs> I definitely could've shot them. My control has been a little bit off, so it's been a, it's, it's a little bit hard to like even 
uh, hit that, but either way, we still won the game and played well. We positioned ourselves uh, where we wanted to be, or positioned ourselves where we wanted to, so uh, not bad either way.